Hi, I'm Peter. I work with Sensel, and besides the work I do with Sensel, I also do audio production, and I make my own music. I've lived in the Bay Area for about 15 years, and there's always a lot of great spatial audio stuff happening here at Stanford, at UC Berkeley, at Dolby, and Recombinant Media Labs. When I first found out about the Envelop system here that Christopher Wiltz and his team had put together, I was really excited to check it out. I had no idea what I was coming into. This place is really well thought out. Uh, it's got great architectural details, the lighting, even down to the scent, which you can't appreciate where you are. Envelop is a vision, it's a dream, it's a tool to connect. And our mission is to amplify the connective power of music. We're doing that through building immersive spaces like the one that we're within, open source software tools, and then hosting spatial music events that are created with the software tools. It's always like a always a collective effort with um, everyone in the team, and every event is so unique. Even though a lot of people understand the idea of three dimensional sound, hardly anyone in the world has truly experienced it on a creative level that allows a full sphere of sound to be a creative palette. Spatial audio is making this whole, you could picture this whole space as a spear. On your earphones, you just have two drivers in your ear and it's just going left, right, or even surround sound at your house. It's 5.1, five speakers, one sub, all going to desired points. But then you turn your system off or turn your music off and you go outside and you're hearing things in an environment, you know what I'm saying? You're hearing things in basically the world, a giant spear. So what Ambisonics does, the spatial audio does, is creates a spear within this space, how you would hear it in the natural environment. People wouldn't really think stuff like this existed compared to their earphones because they think, oh, it's just surround sound. Well, you can be a developer and get into the software. You can be a music lover and come to events and really enjoy that. You could be an artist and start creating with the tools and enjoy it that way. I know these things can be very complicated and I wanted to make it very simple to work with my hands to spatialize audio and uh, try out some different ways of listening to music. So what I did to integrate the morph is I used the Sensil object in Max. So it was really easy to take the contact data from the morph and bring it into the system and use it to control panning and spatialization of all my different tracks. I've got the cool Envelope logo here, of course. Um, and then I've got these four regions where I can tap fingers to uh, make different things happen. So on the top left, I can tap fingers to select tracks. So if I want to select uh, track three to control the spatialization on that, I just tap three fingers and it takes me to track three. And now I have control over the spatialization of the audio. So I can put it anywhere in this circle. The cool thing about Envelope is it's more than a circle, it's a sphere. So I've actually tried playing around with the pressure, which is really effective. So if I start spatializing, I put a finger here to enable pressure, and you can see the elevation is now being affected by how hard I press. So I can push that sound up to the ceiling or just let it fall down to about your level. I can also spatialize my return tracks independently. So if I send my drums to a reverb, I can go ahead and put the uh, drum kit here on track two. I can put that over in this side of the room and then I can go ahead to the reverb and put that on the other side of the room so you get some really interesting effects. With my delays, I can do the same thing. Down here on the right, I can start circling the sound around the room and then I can tap a couple fingers and record a sequence and then go ahead and play it. And now we can see that all of that gesture data is now going around the room. So if people have E4L, you can have the software running from your computer or just have your main outs going through a mixer which goes to our computer and we have the software on there as well. These LED lights actually have their own software but it's now integrated with Ableton as well. We can control them through Ableton and of course the software it's made for. We feel it has a lot of social impact to create these spaces that really has the priority on listening. To have three-dimensional sound, have spatial audio, all the love and detail that goes into that is really just amplifying, like a microscope, the social-emotional connection between people. You know, I got to meet a lot of different people, got to really see how music and immersive spaces like this can alter an experience in a positive way and create a whole different perception when it comes to music as a whole.